Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I wanted to talk today about building an online business as a projector in human design because that's definitely different than the standard approach to building your online business. And being a projector myself and having an online business in the spiritual field, I want to give you my best advice and my insights also because I do human design readings and I definitely hope that inspires you to take a different approach to have the courage that you know you can build your own business but it just will be in a really different way so if that's interesting to you then definitely stay tuned So if you click this video, chances are either you are a projector or you know someone who is a projector in human design. And human design is how your energy works. So how you can operate in the best energy possible for you that is in alignment with your energetic blueprint, which is human design. Human design basically tells you what your energetic blueprint is and how you can make the best decisions and the, the best life choices in life so you follow your part, fulfill your purpose and stay in alignment with your natural energy. And that's where human design is really interesting, especially in regards to, you know, also considering your astrology chart. Your astrology chart is what I always say, your cosmic blueprint and human design is your energetic blueprint. And they both together are like the perfect match. That's why I love to give readings for both human design and astrology, because it gives you a full overview on how you operate in the best way possible to actualize your purpose. So when it comes to, you know, finding out what your purpose is all about and you want to impact the world and you want to uh, share your gifts with the world, right? It's obviously important to understand, well, how do I do that in the best way possible that is also in alignment with my energy? Because we, you know, in school, but also when you look at online marketing and all of that, there's usually this approach of you have to market yourself, put yourself out there, promote your office, do all of the things. And unfortunately, that doesn't work for a projector because the strategy for projectors are waiting for the invitation. And I did a video about waiting for the invitation and projectors and in the past, so I will link that down below. You can definitely um, watch that because it's really important to understand what that actually means because it doesn't mean that you have to sit around waiting for something to happen until you can go out there and do something that's definitely important to understand because i thought so and i love to talk to people i love to do things i i'm a capricorn moon i want to work right i want to work that actually emotionally fulfills me and it wouldn't work for me to just sit around and do nothing but that's also not what it means when you hear the word the term waiting for the invitation just means that you you know you don't have to promote yourself every single day and your office every single day in your stories on Instagram everywhere you don't have to do that and chances are if you do that you probably won't have the feedback that you would like to have so you would rather invest your energy in something else that is more fulfilling for you but also maybe more fulfilling fulfilling for your audience and the reason why projectors have to wait for an invitation is also really important to understand because it's not that you know you are not allowed to do that it's just to understand that when you wait for the invitation the right people come to you and when you don't wait for the invitation maybe you get feedback but maybe it's not the right person that you will work with and obviously in the long term that's also something that you don't want because the energy of a projector is really special we have this gift of looking really deeply into people that's why people have to be ready to work with us right they have to be ready and that's you know you only know when you when they are ready if they invite you right if they come to you and say hey I want to have a reading with you hey I want to work with you hey can you coach me hey can I benefit from your insights can I can you help me with this or that that's when you know okay this person is ready for my deep insights because the energy of a projector is able to get deep, deep into someone else's aura, someone else's energy. That's why for some people, 
projectors can seem a little bit intimidating and a little bit too much, too intense, they have to be ready. So please, as a projector, don't just put yourself out there. Don't just, you know, say what you see, say what you know, say what you observe and all of that, because we are so gifted in observing people, understanding deeply what, you know, could help them, right? We have the answers for them, but some people are not ready for the answer yet. They will be ready but they are not yet if they don't ask you. And that's where the whole term wait, waiting for the invitation is really beautiful because what do you do while you wait? While you wait, you focus on the things that you are really, really good at, okay? You focus on the things that you're really, really good at. And every projector at some point has this passion for something and just wants to go deeply into a rabbit hole. And if you find something in your life that makes you feel like I want to know everything about it, I could spend hours and hours doing that, just researching that, just painting, whatever it is, doing one thing, do this one thing. Even if in the short term, it doesn't give you money or anything, right? Obviously, we have to support ourselves at some point. But if there's something you feel so, so drawn to, please follow it and maybe help yourself with, you know, a side job, a bridge job, whatever, uh, until you can make money off of your passion. But I promise you at some point there will be this shifting experience where all of a sudden all of the time that you're invested in following your bliss, doing what you're passionate about will come back to you in the form of energy as money. It will, trust me. But also one thing that I really want to stress is that projectors are advised to only work four hours a day, right? And the rest of the day, you want to follow your bliss even more, but also rest a lot because we don't have our own energy. We don't have the sacral defined, so we don't have our own energy. And sometimes that can be really, you know, I'm a Capricorn moon again, bringing up the whole thing. But if you have a lot of Capricorn in your chart, chances are you want to be productive too. Um, but... You have to understand that sometimes we feel like we can do so many things, but it's just because we've been around other people that have a defined sacral and every open center in your human design chart is like you absorb the energy of someone else, you amplify it, so you feel it even stronger. So you can feel at times that you can do all of these things all at once, right? Being the multitasker, doing five million projects because you've been with other people that have a de defined sacral maybe. But the minute you are not with this, these people anymore, all of a sudden you realize, well, I'm so exhausted. I'm so exhausted, I can't do anything anymore. And sometimes we feel like our ego is pushing us to do it anyways, and then it can come to burnout and you know exhaustion and all of that even more. And you will feel that you are really bitter. And whenever you feel you are really bitter, because you've done so much, but not a lot came back for for the investment that you made like time wise and maybe even money wise whenever you notice that you are bitter you know as a projector you're not in your self theme you're in your not self theme right you're not in your own energy and whenever you are not in your own energy you want to look at your chart and really really be honest with yourself where have i worked too much where have i initiated where didn't i wait for the invitation where did i just you know, do stuff and put myself out there, even though no one really asked me to do it. And that's hard because deep down inside, we know that this answer could help, right? We are born as natural guides. We are actually here to guide others. So it's almost like we wouldn't do our job if we wouldn't give the advice, right? If we wouldn't give the guidance and share what we see and observe. But trust me, you can only help people that want to hear what you have to say. That's why we have to wait for the invitation. And again, when it comes to online businesses, and that's also my own, um, yeah, my own journey. At the beginning, I did all the things, all the things they promoted because, you know, I wanted this stuff to work. I wanted to have my own online business. I wanted to travel. I wanted to impact the world. I wanted to reach as many people as I can with my message. But I had to see that my approach probably won't be the same as other online business coaches do because other online business coaches are generators, manifesting generators, maybe manifestors. And not a lot of projectors, to be honest, are online business coaches, at least the ones that I found back then. So I know my coach was a manifesting generator and I had a coach that was a generator and it was like a fuck, like all of the advice doesn't work for me. What am I going to do, right? So I found Women Design and it was a huge, huge relief because following, I mean, first of all, it was a relief, but at the same time, it was like, 
how am I gonna be successful doing that? Like just doing less work and doing like putting myself out there less and just doing less ge in general, which for Capricorn Moon is really triggering doing less, right? And expecting more. How is this going to work? But, you know, I had no other option than doing that. So I did it. And I dived deep into astrology, human design, and I just shared what I've learned. And people resonated with that. And all of a sudden, people asked me for offers that were not even there yet. Like people asked me to mentor them when it comes to human design and when it comes to astrology, even though I never offered like mentoring in the traditional sense, but they want to have my insights and my knowledge, which they only know how much I know because I share it in my podcast. I share it on my Instagram. I share it uh, wherever I can, even here on YouTube. Right. Um, and, because of that, they feel and they sense from my energy that I have something that they want to know too, that would benefit them in their business, in their life, uh, in finding their purpose and whatever, right? And that's when they invite me to work with them. And that's the magic of being a projector. We don't even have to do so much to put ourselves out there. All we have to do is to really, really share our gifts and share how much we know and just share it without being pushy. And that's my biggest advice for you and it's easier actually than we think right we, we have to do less we just have to like literally it's, it's like being a child and being so excited about what you love and just sharing your excitement sharing your insights sharing what you know and first of all seeing yourself before you expect other people to see you that's really important it was such a key for me too and not easy if you saw my Chiron 8th house Leo uh, video to you know that you know Chiron is conjunct my son so I have a hard time shining my light that's why I do the work that I do because it took me so much work and effort and personal development and deep deep growth and healing to shine my own light that's why I want to help other people to find their purpose to find their life to find their magic right and human design was a big big part of that a big big part first of all because i found myself in being a projector and when i read about it, it was like such a relief and deep understanding that there is nothing wrong with me there's actually nothing wrong with me because that's what i thought when i did you know start my business and not hadn't didn't have the success that i wanted to have straight up from the beginning because i saw other people having the success by doing the same strategies and i was like fuck okay people hate me <laughs> is it that and that's not the reason it's it's just my energy operates differently and if you're a projector that's the same for you and i don't want you to give up i don't want you to you know have your self-worth crumbling because of that because you feel like no one appreciates what you have to share people are not ready yet <laughs> that's the whole reason and um i want you to step in your magic step in your light and if you again you know that's now i put my offer out there so to speak i just invite you to consider a human design reading if it's of help to you if not it's also fine you can always you know leverage my free content there's a lot out there to digest but if you want to dive deep with me i'm always here to to guide you too if you're ready right if you're ready you can invite me and that's how it works right don't be pushy don't be desperate don't be all of that just share what you're passionate about and be happy for the people that show up for you that invite you that see you um because that's that's you know that's the right people that's the people you want to work with you don't want to convince people to work with you because one thing that i definitely want to give you as final word as a projector your energy is so precious and so rare you can go deep inside of people that's exhausting for you and it's a lot for the other person too and one thing that really shifted my own um, understanding about being a projector and appreciating that is that you know not every single person deserves to get that gift and to get that guidance so you can't treat your own energy as if it's you know natural to come to you and get the deep deep insights and the deep deep guidance right people want to pay for that and that's definitely something i want you to think about because you have these deep insights you can go deep you can give really 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 valuable insights in other people's life that can change their life completely so why wouldn't you charge for that why would you want anyone to work with you you wouldn't you really want to 
have people that appreciate your energy, right? So appreciate your energy first because that's when you protect it and you know, okay, I'm going to preserve my energy for myself. I don't want anyone to deplete me. And when you show up with that level of energy, you will attract the right people and they will see you. They will see you. They will love you. They will appreciate you. They will be so grateful to have you in their, in their life. That has been my um, experience. And I love every single soul I've ever worked with. I love them all. They are my family. And I want you to have the very same experience too. So trust it. Trust it. And trust that the universe will bring the right people to you. And if you don't follow your strategy and authority and you don't have the success, that's just the universe telling you, girl, you, you really want to go back into studying your human design chart, understanding your energy, and then really, really following it and trusting it. The universe will support you. Your guides will support you. And the world needs you as a projector, not as a manifesting generator, not as a generator. You know, we have a lot of them too, and they are amazing too. But you were born as a guide, you were born as a projector, and there's a reason for that. So, step in your magic. <laughs>